Good morning, Divination and WRJRians. No sun today. <laughs> it's crazy. It's, you know, I, I love the rain, but I did not see this coming. So this is kind of nice. Anyway, today's letter, boys and girls, comes from <laughs> a listener in Frankfurt, Kentucky. And his dilemma is... I'm in love with a stripper. Um, hmm. Okay. That's cool. Um, what's the problem? I don't know that I'm okay with her job. Um, the men, I don't like the way they look at her. I don't like them touching her. You know, you know how it goes in a strip club. Don't act like y'all don't know. He doesn't know how he feels about her job anymore. So I asked him this, what did she do for a living when you met her? She was a stripper. I said, so, okay. And once again, when I do these and I talk to the people, I give them an idea of what I'm gonna say when I do the live video, because this stuff right here is just right off the cuff. So they get an idea of what I'm gonna say, but what I'm gonna say to him is, you, when you met her, she was stripping. The whole time you've been together, which has been apparently about a year and a half, she's been a stripper. Why do you suddenly have a problem with it? You knew, you know, it's not like she hid what she did. Um, it's not like she just became a stripper. Um, by his own admission, that's how they met. He met her in the strip club and decided he wanted to be with her. Now, my thing is this. You may not like her job, and that's fine. That's your right. But you don't have the right to start a relationship with somebody knowing what they do for a living and try to change the rules in the middle of the game. Hey, baby. <laughs> um, if you didn't want a stripper, you shouldn't have started dating one. You knew what she was. You chose to date her anyway. Now, if she doesn't, you know, if she's ready to be done with her profession, that's fine. But you can't come into a relationship and try to change the other person into what you want them to be when you knew what they were when you got them. I mean, she was already a stripper. So, hey, Michelle. So why are you trying to change the rules in the middle of the game? That's not cool. So... If she doesn't like what you're doing, although you were doing it when you guys met, are you going to quit your job for her? No, it doesn't make sense. I'm not saying you have to like what she does, but it's not like this was a secret occupation. So you knew what it was because you actually want to see her dance. That's how y'all met. Don't do that. If you want to be with her, be with her. If you don't, then you need to just leave. But don't sit here and try to change her or get mad at her because she's doing exactly what she did when y'all met and now you have a problem with it you need to think about all this decide what it is you truly want do you want her or do you not want her but if she's not ready to give up stripping she's not going to do that so that's a, that's a reality that you may have to accept so <laughs> I, I just don't get people that go into relationships trying to change somebody else. That's not your job. If they want to change, they'll change, period. It's not your job to, t to dictate to somebody else what they should be or what they should be doing. Especially if they're already doing that when you met and for a year and a half, you were okay with that. Now, all of a sudden, you have a problem. I'm sorry. That's not okay. Anyway, let me hop off my soapbox. <laughs> I'm at work. Um, Doug, I'm gonna... We need to talk about something. This made me think about this call I got this morning. But um, you guys have a great day. If you're in Phoenix, stay dry. Although, I love the rain, so I don't care. I just hate that I'm wearing white pants not knowing it was gonna rain. But um, I'll be back tomorrow night for Love Unlimited Live. 8 to 11 out west, 11 to 2 out east, and then on Sunday for the old school cool down, 2 to 5 out west, 5 to 8 out east, and y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.